Hey everyone, it's Johnny and I'm back today and I have a really fun little side project. I just want to uh, show you guys. Um, I watch a lot of tech videos and I often watch this uh, guy, the 8-Bit guy on TV and he's really into um, vintage 8-Bit computers and restoring them. And I happen to have my old uh, vintage Mac and what I've decided, I've taken it apart and um, what I'm going to do is retro bright it uh, today because it's really, really nice out. Uh, temperatures hitting 40 degrees C here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it in a bath of um, the case and everything in a bath of uh, hydrogen peroxide solution and just leave it out in the sun all day and see if I can't get it to like this yellowed old Mac Plus to turn uh, sort of new again. So yeah, we'll see if this technique works. I've got 10% uh, hydrogen peroxide solution. So I'm going to mix that with water. And um, here it is right here. 10% uh, hydrogen peroxide solution. I've got a couple bottles of this. And I'm going to stick it in this uh, large bucket that I have. Um, and uh, yeah, storage bin and just uh, see what happens. So let's move outside and I'll show you guys the setup. Okay, here we got the shell outside and I'm filling it up with some water uh, from the hose and I'll let that warm up a bit and uh, fill it up to the top. I put a few bricks on the inside of the case just to take up some volume so I didn't, um, so the solution when I put it in wasn't so diluted. Okay, so yeah, the water's all uh, filled to the top. Now uh, it's time to put in the peroxide solution, 10% peroxide, which is about um, 33 volume. And I put in two bottles of it. So they, they weren't the big bottles you usually get. Um, so they're about half the size, so I put in two of them. And then topped it up with water and put the lid on and let that sit for the day in the sun. Okay, it's a day later and I'm just checking it out. See how it worked. And I did move the bucket around a bit to give it uh, maximum um, sun exposure on all sides. And uh, giving it a rinse. Just rinsing it off here because it does have peroxide on it. And um, yeah, as you can see, there's the bezel that hasn't been done compared to the case that has been done. And it's quite a bit whiter. As you can see, the yellow is mostly gone. So uh, yeah, let's do the bezel. I put in another bottle of peroxide just to increase the strength a bit uh, to get the job done. And I let it sit for another day, and there we go. Um, remove the bezel, it's quite a bit lighter. And I gave it a good rinse. I, you can see I did the mouse case as well. And yeah, just give it a good rinse off and uh, let's see how it looked in the studio. All right, yeah, um, as you can see, here's the Mac Plus uh, put back together and uh, retro brighted, and it looks amazing. I'm gonna say it looks almost brand new. Um, I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out uh, with the retro brighting. Um, it's perfectly uniform, there's no blotchiness. Um, so yeah, submersion method totally is the best, and um, I would highly recommend it. So I'm gonna do the keyboard next and this thing is going to come out looking like a brand new Mac Plus from 1987, uh, 86, 87, I think, when the Mac Plus came out. So yeah, awesome. And uh, thanks for uh, watching my RetroBright video. All right, cheers.